I want to talk about what we what we decided to leave behind. I said procrastination. Procrastination in the point of when I say do. You know what I mean? Say and then be. Be and it is. That's a godly thing to do. You know what I mean? Like it's the most, it's the greatest feeling in the world to me. When you super productive. When it's saying that every time I think something, I just do it. I want to go to the gym. I'm going to the gym. It's not like a 10-step process. Right. There's thought and then there's do because we talked about, oh, I don't know if I said this on the podcast. Whoever, and this is about the word tomorrow. My brother time texted me about this. So that whoever invented, remember, think about the man that invented tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, one day he was like, you know what, I'm going to do this tomorrow. Think about the first person that said, I'm going to do this tomorrow. That was the first procrastinating ass person <laughs> on the planet, though. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And then the other brother was like, tomorrow? What's tomorrow? He was like, oh, it's a time where we don't have to do it right now. We can do it at another time. And then that's when we're going to put the responsibility in. And then everybody's like, so we don't have to do it now? The concept of now was destroyed, and then tomorrow was created. So I think tomorrow was created for the people, you know, who want to make excuses upon today because today is the only t- today is the only thing that exists. Tomorrow is just another today. So why not do it now? But if you get your mind in that, like tomorrow don't even exist, I just do it now. Matter of fact, a, the next hour don't exist. Like we literally got the next hour in our head because our phone, the cameras, everything is telling us that there's another hour. No, 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 no. It's just now. You know what I mean? It's now, and then the sun goes down and up. <laughs> it's not like, uh. It's not like, uh. The, the Jordan Peele movie. Get out. Jordan Peele oh, movie, us. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm going to my, right, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna get to my, uh, what I left behind. And I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, my name, meaning only God knows tomorrow. Like, I think that's a big emphasis of that. Like, you don't even control. You don't know what's going to happen. Because yeah. you know? a lot of times, that's what happens with procrastination. You put it to the side, and then something happens. You know, whatever happens, happens. You distractions happen. So it's all the same. And another thing you brought up, the whole, I'm, I am I want to go to the gym. Instead of just saying, I'm going to the gym. Right. That's a huge paradigm yeah. shift. Because that's yeah. similar to the word try. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to. Right. What are you going to? What are you that's going to? Future tense, future tense reward. I am going to the gym. Like, I, and then the thing you're going to do is so separated between time. Chinese people, I go to the gym. I go, they say, I go gym. And you like, I go, Jim, that sounds like illiterate. No, 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 no. What I'm telling you is, this is what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, you want to figure out later is that, no, I do now. That's like, because I used to think that, they used to ask me, they'd be like, I buy now. And I'd be like, okay. No, they were saying like now. And I thought they was rushing me, but that's the concept of time. It's like, that's do it now. Language is culture. Like, yeah. That language is culture. Like, the, the fact that, you know, we communicate that way is yeah. saying that, like, that's the emphasis of the culture right. is not putting things aside. So I think that's no. 